Hello, artists. It's so good to see you. Guess what this week is? The week before Mother's Day. That's right. So, I decided that we are going to work on some gift giving ideas this week. So, today, Alyssa has prepared a really cool book for you that you can print out and fill in and Oh, your mom's gonna love it. And it doesn't have to be just for a mom. If you live with your grandma, uh, she'll love it. Your aunt, your guardian, anybody, any female who is important to you in your life, I want you to just think of them and answer all the questions for them and it's gonna mean so much. Now, Alyssa's gonna come from up top and work on this with you and show you some different ways to assemble it. Before you start, you're gonna want to go down to the bottom of the page where the PDFs are and print that out. Now there's two ways to print it out. You can print it out, try to a double-sided. That's the best if your parents or guardians can figure it out. If they can't, just print it out on four sheets and Alyssa's gonna show you how to glue it together, okay? Now, on Thursday, we're gonna make something else, something really cool, and then next week we're gonna go to Africa and make some art, okay? I can't wait to see what you do. Goodbye, artists. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here. I'm excited I got my mom to go away because I'm gonna make her one of these books too. I spent all yesterday putting this together in a way that you guys could print out and that I could make too. So I, right here I have the book printed out on single paged and right here is the book printed out two-sided. So it doesn't matter which way you printed it out, I'm gonna show you how to put it together both ways, all right? So if you printed your single-sided, Pay extra attention right now. This is the title page, so this is the, the page that's gonna be on the very front. So I want you to flip this upside down and then find the page that says, Draw My Mom, right here. So, all you're gonna do is take a glue stick and you're gonna glue stick this page right on top of this page. Make sure to get all around the corners and in the middle. You don't have to use too much. You don't have to cover up the entire page, but you want most of it. Then you wanna line up the edges as best you can and press it down, like that, and there. Now I've got best mom ever on this side, draw my mom, I love my mom because on this side. Then you probably guessed it, you're gonna do the same thing with these two pages. So since this one's done, I'm gonna put it off to the side and you're gonna put one of these pages upside down Get ready to glue it. And then get all your edges. Oops. Line up your corners. And smooth it out. Now, one thing I like to do to make it extra flat before you go on to the next step is you can put a giant book on top of it. So if you have any books where you are, like I'm gonna use an art book. So I have this one that's called Mad Libs Forever. You can put it just right on top and leave it there for a little bit to make sure the glue really sticks. Now I'm done with that, so I'm gonna put the cap on it. Now, I'm gonna put these two pages over here underneath this book so they can get extra stuck. Then I'm gonna move on to these double-sided pages. So it's just, essentially we just created the same thing but used more paper. So here, you're going to put the Draw My Mom side up on top and then what you're gonna do is fold it along this line right in half.
All right, and you're gonna do the same thing for this page. Now, I'm gonna do mine with the my mom always says side up. Draw your mom's favorite food. Draw your favorite thing that your mom cooks. Because it'll be easier to assemble into a book that way. So what you wanna do is fold this in half. Just the same as the other page. There you go. And then when you put it together, it's gonna look like this. Best mom ever. Open the page, draw my mom, and then all these facts about your mom. My mom always says this when I do this. Draw your mom's favorite food. Draw your favorite thing that your mom cooks. What makes your mom laugh? I love my mom because, and then on the back you're gonna draw a little bouquet of flowers for your mom. Now I'm gonna teach you two different ways to put these books together, okay? Step one, if you have a big long stapler, this method is called saddle stitching. I don't have a big long stapler, so I am just gonna show you guys what that would look like. So you wanna open your book up so you have both pages one on top of the other. You're gonna take your stapler and push it all the way in, all the way up into this line, okay? And if your stapler's long enough, then you staple right along those lines. And that is called saddle stitching. My stapler isn't long enough, so I'm gonna do it a different way. You might have a needle and thread at your house. So this is the way I'm gonna show on this book. Take out your needle. You might need some help with this, so maybe ask your dad or someone else. You're gonna thread the thread right through the needle loop. It's called the eye. Sometimes this can be tricky. Oh, I pulled it out. Here we go. There. Now all you have to do, oops. I don't have a pair of scissors near me, but that's okay. I can cut it later. What I recommend for you guys to do is tie a little knot. <laughs> tie a knot at the end. Just a basic knot, doesn't have to be anything fancy. As close to the end of your little strand as you can. You wanna make this about as long or longer than your book. So just so you have extra room and you know that you're gonna have a lot of room. I'm gonna do it a second time, a double knot, and try to get it to land right on top of the other one, which you probably can't see because it's so tiny, but it's right there, right at the edge of my fingernail. So there, now you can see my knot a little bigger. All right. So now all you have to do is stitch. I'm gonna fold these extra hard. So now when I stitch, it's gonna be easy. You wanna stitch right along the crease that you made. Oof, if I could pick up my needle. Goodness gracious. Okay. You're gonna make your first poke. Now you might need some help with this because it's Needles are sharp and you don't want to hurt yourself. What I like to do is hold it off the table a little bit. You can see my finger down here. And hold it tight so that when you poke through, it's easy. Then you pull it. I'm gonna pull it all the way to your knot right there. Then all you have to do is flip it upside down. Oh no, pulled through my knot, but that's okay. Do the same thing on this side. Sometimes it's a little hard to press. Then pull it through like that. And you're just gonna do this all the way up to the top. 
you notice how I'm trying to space my stitches the same length apart? You can see it better on this side. So I try to make each poke the same distance. Just do your best. This part doesn't have to be perfect. The part that's supposed to be really exciting is what you are going to draw on the inside of this book. Uh, my fingers are a little slippery, so I'm having a hard time with this. Now one trick, if you have a mouse pad, you could put a mouse pad underneath this seam right here and then you could just stick it right through. Now people don't really have mouses and my mouse mouses, I guess for a computer mouse anymore as often as they used to. So maybe you have a, a mouse pad, maybe you don't. I don't have one right here with me, so I'm just going to finish this up. Try to do it quick. Gonna hold it like this. Do 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 do. Last one. Now to finish it off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around the top like this and stick it right back through the hole I just made. So there you have a little loop right there. I'm going to sneak my needle right inside that loop so it makes a little knot. And I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to stick the needle right through that hole and make another little knot. And that should hold it in place for you. Just in case, I'm gonna make a knot underneath these. If I could pick it up and through the middle of this loop right there. Pull it, but be careful when you pull it because you might rip through right here. See, that's pretty sturdy. And then you can cut it off. Now I told you guys I don't have scissors right here with me right now, so I'll cut it off in just a minute. And there's your book. Best mom ever. Pretty sturdy. Now for part two. Another option, if you don't have a needle and thread, but you do have some glue, we can put a little strip of glue right on the seam. So you're gonna do the same thing as the other one. Make sure you've got your title page. You're gonna fold it in half before you do anything. Now your book's gonna be a little thicker just because you have more pages in it. So make sure you really crease it. There. And then we're gonna put this face down so you have the triangle pages on top with the square. Fold it in half. Just like this. Boom. Now this looks a little wonky, so I'm going to go in with my nail, smooth it out. If you don't have an, a fingernail as long as mine, you can use a pencil or something. There. Now what you're going to do, just like the last one, you're going to put the facts about your mom right next to the Draw My Mom page. But this time, if you have a glue stick, you're going to use glue stick instead of the needle and thread. So, open up your glue. Now it's important to note that you don't need a lot. You just need a little tiny strand and I'm gonna move it sideways because that's easier for me. I'm gonna show you guys just a little 
thin snake. And that's all you need. Nothing more than that. Don't get too crazy or else your book's gonna stick together. And then all you're gonna do, the way I think this would be easiest is to hold this side up a little bit, fold this one in and just kind of stick it in like that. Make sure your pages are lined up. And if you can see on this side, I'm just running my finger along the edge to really press the glue in there. And then you can open it up like this, stick that glue. And remember what we did last time with the glue? We put it under a book. Same thing. Stick it under a book so it really dries on there good. And then when you come back, it'll be easy. Best mom ever. And you really wanna just make sure to wait for this to dry, okay? So I'm gonna fold it like this, stick it under the book, let it dry. And then I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors real quick. Then I'm gonna go through and show you guys how to fill in the book. Here are my scissors. Now all I'm gonna do is cut this little, oops, cut this little guy off up here. I'm gonna pull that out. And then what I'm gonna do, just in case, is I'm gonna thread this through, and I could have done this at the beginning, it might have been better, but I'm gonna do the same thing I did at the end on the knot at the beginning. So I'm gonna tie the little knot right here close to the end of my needle. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wrap it around through the bottom hole. And then when I come up, I'm gonna let this guy go in the middle and pull. I'm gonna do the same thing twice. Through the hole. And then around inside the loop. And then, just like at top, I'm gonna go underneath these two. Underneath. Goodness. And through the middle. Oops. Pull it. That should be good. Pretty sturdy. I'm gonna cut this one too. Boom. And there you have it. So now, I'm just gonna give you guys a little um, tour, I guess, of the book. On the front page, you're gonna write your name as fancy as you can, make it look good. So if I were to do it, I would go in with some colored markers, maybe make the A pink and the L red and the Y orange, something like that. And then color in these bubble letters as fun and as fancy and as bright as you can. Maybe do them in your mom's favorite colors. You open the page, draw my mom. And last week we did a portrait lesson, so that'll come in handy right here. You can use your portrait skills and a picture of your mom to draw your best version of your mom. Make sure that you take up this whole space. I left a lot for you so you could draw a big picture. Then you're gonna come over here and fill in all the information about your mom. What's your mom's name? How old is she? How tall is she? just fill in all this stuff. Then for this page, my mom always says blank when I blank. So something your mom always says, it doesn't even have to make sense. My mom says weird stuff like what I would put here is my mom always says 
if you're waiting on me, you're walking backwards. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, because she always says it when I'm waiting for her. So on, in my picture box, I would draw a picture of me waiting on my mom. Then over here, draw your mom's favorite food. My mom's favorite food is hmm, probably chocolate. So I draw some piece of chocolate over here, draw my favorite thing that my mom cooks. Now she cooks the best spinach. And you guys might think I'm crazy, but it tastes so good. So I draw a picture of that in my triangle. Then what makes your mom laugh? Anything that you could think of can go in this box and you could even draw more than one picture. If you want, you could split it into a square. Well, split it into four squares like this and draw four things that make your mom laugh. And over here, you're gonna write, I love my mom because. And so in each speech bubble, you're gonna write one reason why you love your mom. And then at the end, if you could pick any flowers for your mom, what would they be? Draw them in the jar. And I gave you guys a little jar. All you have to do is draw some flowers. So if I were to do it, you could do any kinds of flowers. So I'm gonna draw just a fun, Flower like this. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Draw the stem into the jar. Now there's other flowers out there that look a little different. So maybe I'll do one like this. I'll make a circle for the middle. That one stem is gonna go in here like this. And this one might have some fun stuff, like little, woo, little lines going out from the middle. Doop, doop, doop. You could draw a big sunflower. Sunflowers have a big middle section, center, and then their leaves, their petals, are start a little thicker at the bottom, and they go in like that. Out in, and I like to turn it. Out in, 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 and then a second layer. Do 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 do. Out in, out in. But the point is that these flowers can be any flowers in the world. You could draw crazy flowers. You know the flower on the background when my mom introduces these videos? You could draw a crazy flower like that. Or you could draw one big flower. It's whatever you want. And I'm gonna make this stem go bloop. But see, this is a glass jar. My jar is a glass jar so you can see through it. And don't forget to add some leaves. Maybe a leaf up here. Then I'm gonna draw another little flower. These are fun. I don't remember what they're called, but they're just a bunch of little circles. They are thin at the top. They look like that. Boop. I might add another one up here. Doop, boop, 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 boop. And they're usually bluish purple. So then after I draw all these in my pencil, I'm gonna go back. It's gonna go behind this flower and there. I'm gonna go back and make these stems green and I'll make the petals pink, make some fun stuff happen. Maybe I'll go in and add some extra lines in here. Just make it super fun. Maybe I'll do it again, just for fun. I'm gonna put a bunch of dots in the middle of this one because it's gonna be kind of like a sunflower. Do, 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 do. But it would be better to do this with a marker or a crayon or something, colored pencils even. This one I'm gonna give him a circular 
center. Booyah. And there, you've got a little bouquet of flowers. But I challenge you to do even more than these. Fill up this whole space with all kinds of flowers. I was just demonstrating a couple different ways to do some flowers. But you can do anything in the world, any kind of flower that you want. You could even have someone help you Google some different types of flowers to draw back here. And then make sure at the very end, you come back and close the back of your jar. Okay, because I left it open, but you're gonna go in the back and make sure it doesn't come in. You want this to be behind all of your flower stems. Okay. So that's the back of your jar, all right? So if I go in with my stems, these two can be green stems. The back of this jar shouldn't go in front of the green stems, it should be behind them. So it shows it's these lines are in front of the green because that's in front of the stems. But this line is behind the stems, so it shouldn't come in front. And then after that, you're all done. And give it to your mom and see how much she loves it. Right, I'm sure you guys are gonna do great. So good luck.